welcome to CrossFit. This is Elite Fitness. We have Logan, my son-in-law here, that's gonna do the workout for us today. My name is Jim. Today is an AMRAP routine. Okay, so Logan, this is kinda of cool. You kinda of go through this circuit as many times as you can. So if you haven't done this type of workout, guys, um, it, it'll test you no matter what your fitness level is. We have, in this case, an eight minute running clock. We have four circuits that we're gonna do eight minutes each. And how this works is, with circuit one, we have eight minutes and you're gonna go through, we have four exercises with each circuit. So you're gonna go through those exercises with the prescribed number of repetitions. And when you get done with that circuit, you don't stop. You go right back to the top and you keep going for that eight minutes, okay? When the eight minutes is up, you have a minute break. <laughs> kind of seem fair, does it? Eight to one ratio. So we'll have a minute break and that just kind of gets you, you know, get rehydrated if you need that and then jump to circuit two and so on. So. This workout, 35 minutes long, including your three minutes of rest, all right? All right. So, um, guys, I guess, Logan, are you ready for this? Yeah. Oh, let me run over what we need. All guys, right. if you don't have weight equipment, okay, if you have weight equipment, use that. If you don't have weight equipment, we have got some gallon jugs off of the side. Um, I would think you would need two to six, depending on your strength level. Uh, we're probably gonna use six of these gallon jugs today. Uh, you'll want a chair. We have push-ups, we have mountain climbers, we have a seat overhead tricep. So not everyone needs a chair for mountain climbers or push-ups, but if you need one, have it handy, okay? Make sure your chair is anchored against the wall too. We don't want it scooting across the floor. A uh, Couple optional items, guys, and this is only if you want to use heavier weight, okay? Then like one or two gallon jugs in each hand. We're gonna be using a, a broomstick, all right? So we have a broomstick for a couple exercises and we're gonna run the gallon jugs through the broomstick, all right? We also are going to use a backpack, in fact, and guys, again, you could just use gallon jugs, you don't have to use a backpack. With the backpack, you can just add a little more weight in there. So you could do multiple gallon jugs in the backpack. You could do old weight plates, you could use books, paper. I've got a dump, an old dumbbell in mine. So you can load up the backpack, and we have a whole backpack circuit. So uh, with one arm rows, front squats, curls, and tricep extensions. Um, guys, I think that's it. So I'm gonna put the first circuit up on the screen for you guys to see. Uh, it's a great way to get the body warm. A lot of core activation with this one. Um, let me get the timer going. Logan, are you ready right. for this? Yeah. So guys, we're gonna start with mountain climbers. Again, if you need a chair, guys, if you have a hard time going to the floor, use a chair. Let me grab my starter here. And uh, Logan, if you're ready. Hey guys, 15 with each leg. Uh, and there's a 10 second countdown, sorry. Let me start this up, so we'll start counting down. All right, guys, so we're gonna start here in seven seconds. <clears throat> Fancy, right? Yeah. Here we go. Great job, Logan. That's it, buddy. So we're going to get 15, guys. You're just driving the knee forward. Nice. 15 with each leg. When you're done with those, guys, just roll over the back. We have reverse crunch. <clears throat> okay, that was, I like that. It was a very smooth transition, guys. Yeah. Now reverse crunch, okay? So we're gonna get in position and we're just going to, we're going to crunch with the, the hips, all right? Great job, Logan, that's it. And if you watch Logan's legs, they're really not, there's not a lot of movement here. They're just, he's kind of keeping them kind of steady and he's just doing a reverse with that leg, good. Just activating especially those lower abs. And guys, everything is 15 on this first round, so it's, you don't have to remember reps with this one. It's 15, 15, 15, 15, all right? <coughs> Great job, Logan. Okay, hey, this next one, guys. You can keep your heels down lightly. We're gonna take a seat, get the legs out in front of you, and uh, just a soft bend here, Logan. We don't need a lot of bend in the knees. So I'm gonna put the feet pretty close together so they're almost touching. And then hands, guys, you're just gonna kinda have your hands together, and we're just gonna twist off to one side, and then off the other side. Good. Nice job. 15 each way. <clears throat> awesome. Guys, we're laying back. 
So we're gonna get in like a crunch position. So knees are bent, feet flat on the floor, hands on it. Now guys, as you get tired, this gets hard because people wanna pull with their head. So all we're gonna do is we're, gonna, we're just gonna roll the shoulders up and then we're gonna go side, other side, up again, and then stretch them out. Good, and you're gonna very high in that second one, just, just slightly. So up, side, side, just a little squeeze. That's it, buddy, that's it. So guys, 15 of these, they're tough, all right? It's a lot harder than it looks. Nice looking. Ooh, yeah. Do you feel those? Yeah. <laughs> These are great. I love them. How would you breathe on this one? <laughs> you know what? Just, just try to breathe slow. So it's an exhale. Yeah. And a big breath in. And now exhale. And then big breath in. So it's, it's a tough one. job. You're doing great, buddy. Doing great. Little exhale there and then and then breathe in. So we're going back to mountain climbers. So we, we went through the circuit and now we're just starting right at the top again. So we have 15 mountain climbers, that's 15 with each leg. Okay. Reverse crunch, Logan. Excellent. And guys, if you look at Logan's arm placement, I, I kind of like the hands behind the head. Listen, if that's, if that's too challenging or not comfortable, you could put your arms down at your side. I just, I, I like the ab engagement. When my hands are behind the head, I can roll just slightly off the floor with my shoulder blades. And even though we're in reverse crunch, it just activates the upper abs a little bit more than if your hands are down. Nice, Logan. Great job. Guys, the next one, we're in a seated position. And we're going back to those two. Just those Russian twists, all right? And guys, we're, we're keeping the heels light. Listen, if you want to, you bring your feet off. I'm just going to keep his heels lightly touching the floor, and we're just going to go side to side, 15 in each direction. Awesome job. Tough ones now, Logan. Rockies. And you know what, Logan? Don't you don't have to try to come up super high either. You know, just just tighten, 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 squeeze. Okay. And guys, this will really activate the upper abs, and you're gonna feel the tie-in with those obliques up high. Man, great exercise. Nice looking, that's it. So, if you watch low, you want to be under control and not yanking the head, letting the core do all the work. Great job, Logan.
Doing great, Logan. Doing great. Guys, we're under a minute. So if you're keeping pace with us, guys, you've got about, well, about 45 seconds right now. Okay? And you don't have to keep pace with us, guys. If you're a little faster or a little slower, it's no problem. Nice work, Logan. Nice work, buddy. Guys, we have a minute break, okay? Get some water, all right? The next circuit, guys, I'll throw up on the screen for you. We have an overhead lunge. This, this circuit, first one was 15, this one's 10. We have an overhead lunge. We're just gonna hold light weights, or in our case, maybe a gallon jug in each hand. 10 back lunges with each leg. Then we're going squat jumps, which I know is not Logan's favorite thing to do, but we have 10 squat jumps. Guys, then we'll go 10 push-ups, and then we're gonna go 10 underhand front raises. Just trying to get the chest working a little bit, a little bit of front of the shoulders, all right? So guys, shake everything out. Uh, guys, we have 19, 18, 17 seconds. <clears throat> I'll get this out of the way, and I'll put a couple gallon jugs. Oh, you're gonna do it? Sit them right up there for you. Yeah. Yep, yep, perfect. Okay, guys, we're gonna start with overhead lunges. Let me set this off to the side. Good. Let me just watch the low ceiling here. So guys, we're just gonna hold them up, and now we're gonna do a backward lunge, all right? So we just step back. Good. One, that's one, Logan. Two, good. Great job, great job. And we'll just try to keep those just as high as you can, guys. It, it's tough to hold them up there, I know. These could be light dumbbells, guys. Listen, if gallon jokes are too much, guys, canned goods will work. Okay, so you could use canned goods in this. Great job, great job, Logan. Okay, guys, 10 squat jumps. Okay? Hey, watch if you have a little sitting neck, watch your hands. I like to push my hands down as I jump. Okay? So, uh, if it's all sitting against, it doesn't matter. But, all right, Logan. Just 10 of these guys. All right? So, squat, land softly. Watch Logan as he does this. He's going to jump up and land real soft. One, two, good. Six, good job. Seven, eight, nine. Great job, and that's it, that's it. Shake the legs up, guys. Uh, Push-ups are next. If you need a chair, guys, make sure you ground your chair, you know, put up against the wall, possibly, or something sturdy. And we have, we're gonna do 10 push-ups now. If you watch this position, guys, be aware we don't wanna sag the back. They always talk about trying to keep that nice plank position with this. Great job. And the elbows are comfortable, guys, so you don't have to have them way out wide. You can bring them in just a little bit, just a nice comfortable position. Nice job, Logan. Great job, great job. So our next one, guys, underhand frontal raise. So we're kind of sticking with that, that, that upper body a little bit here. So we're gonna really focus on that chest a little bit. So we're gonna converge these, we're gonna bring them together and down slow. Again, canned goods can work, guys. Dumbbells are great. Excellent. Nice job, Logan. And I might have you come just a little wider at the bottom. There we go, and then really squeeze. Excellent. Nice, Logan. Guys, if you see Logan's arms, are, they're fairly straight, okay? So you don't need to bend the arms really a lot. They're just kind of soft. Nice. Great 
great job, great job. Brother. Set this down for just a second here. Shake them out. Guys, overhead, and you don't need weights for this either, okay? So if you're getting really tired, you can just put your hands above your head, okay? Hey, I'll just do that. That's, that's perfect, man, that is perfect. Shoulders get lit up pretty quick. So guys, hands are up, and we have 10 lunges. Good. Good, Logan. Good job. Awesome. 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 All right, guys. Squat jumps are next. <clears throat> nice form, Logan. That's it, buddy. Nice soft landing. Great job, great job. Shake them out for a little bit. Hey guys, next are push-ups, okay? So floor, chair. And remember, you can always go to your knees too. If you're on the floor and it's on the toes, get stuff, go to the knees if you need to. Right. Good position, Logan. Those look great. Good job. Exhale as you come up. Logan's doing a good job of breathing here. Good, Logan. Awesome job. Awesome job. Shake them up for a second, and then we've got the underhand funnel raise. Excellent, Lord. Great job. And as you're doing these at home, guys, just think of that upper body as you're just tighten that whole upper body. Good. A lot of pep and bottom with this. Nice, Lord. Great job. I know you're a little tired here. Just gonna move those arms around. The next one, guys, hey, we're, we're about a minute 30 left, just over a minute 30. Guys, we gotta get those lunges back in. So if you're on our pace, guys, we're going back to the lunges, arms up. We're gonna try to get 10 with each leg. Right. And guys, you can, listen, if you have a hard time getting those reps, you can always take just a mini break, okay? So get a few, take a breath or two and get a few more, all right? Nice, Logan. Good luck. Good job, buddy. Good job. Great work, buddy. Great work. Way to hang in there, man. Nice, buddy. Nice. All right, guys. The next one are. Squat jumps. Well, you're doing good, buddy. Hey, we're down to 15 seconds, guys. So just, hey, get what you can. If you're just starting these squat jumps, just try to get a couple. Nice job, Logan. I'm gonna drink here in just a second. Three. All right, Logan, way to go, way to go. Okay, guys, 
That one was pretty aerobic. That was pretty tough on the upper body. Okay. This next one, this is where we're going to use our backpack. It could be gallon jugs or dumbbells. We've got one arm rows, and we're going to 15 reps. Okay. So we were going to use a backpack for that. Uh, then we're going to just do a squat. And if you want to use weight on that, gallon jugs, dumbbells, or a backpack, you can. Then we have curls, and then we're going to do an overhead tricep extension. Okay. This one's not nearly as aerobic as the one we just finished with, okay, with the squat jumps and arms over the head. Those are tough. All right. So guys, we got 20 seconds. Try to take some slow deep breaths. Logan, how are we doing, man? Okay? All right. Logan, you're so man. In your nose, out your mouth. Just all right, guys. So we're gonna start with one of those. I'm gonna grab this backpack for Logan. I'm gonna get it set up over here. And about 15 with each side. Logan, great job. Logan's going to keep his back nice and flat. He's pulling towards the hip, almost like he's starting old, like a lawnmower or sawing a log. Good, Logan. Good. Okay, guys, as you're going through this, okay, um, try to breathe under control. It'll help reduce that heart rate a little bit. I know you're fatigued from that last circuit, all right? You guys are doing great. Good, Logan. <clears throat> Shake it out for a second. We'll switch those arms up. Nice job. Okay, so guys, the next exercise are some squats. So, well, you can just do body weight or throw a gallon jug on each shoulder or the, the, the backpack's a little heavier than a couple gallon jugs, whatever you're, you're thinking. Okay, so guys, we have um, 15 squats. So, this circuit is all 15 again. All right, so 15 squats, whether that's body weight or a little kettlebell or some gallon jugs. Nice work. Okay, so we got through the rows and the squats, guys. So now we have uh, bicep curls. Okay. So you want your dumbbells or your gallon jugs or, in our case, a backpack. And just nice arm, just trying to make those front of your arms work in here. So we've got 15 bicep curls. Set it down right there, man. And okay. have a seat. We doing okay? Yeah. All right. So, guys, we're gonna hit the opposing muscle group in the arms now. So now we're going overhead tricep extension. All right. So uh, since I'm here, I'll just hand this to Logan. Makes it a little bit easier. All right. So if you watch Logan, the elbows are kind of in. We're gonna come up, and he's gonna press towards. Excellent. He kind of turns and presses up towards, really trying to contract those triceps. And around 15 here, guys. So that's our kind of our goal here. 15 reps. Nice job, buddy. Front. Uh -huh. A little bit taken. 
breath. Guys, we're back to the, the, the one on rows, okay? Good, buddy. Good job. <clears throat> Good form, buddy. Good form. Next one, guys, we have the, just the squats. Okay. All right, so low as we do kind of a, a goblet kind of front squat this time, which is perfect, a little more weight. So we've got 15 squats, Logan, when you're ready, buddy. Nice. I think that was 13, Logan. Okay. 13, okay. Yep, yep. Come on. And 15, great job. Logan, we have curls next. So, man, if you want to shake those arms out for a second, you can kind of shake them up from holding that squat. And we've got 15 bicep curls. And, guys, man, time is going down. We're just, we have just a little over a minute left here. Nice job, nice job. I'll run this over here, Logan. We've got the triceps next, so we'll try to get a few reps here. Boy, not a lot of time is there. <laughs> it's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Guys, we got like 10 seconds, Logan, to get a few reps here, and I'll grab it from them. You know, I just really try to isolate those triceps for the time that's left. Three, two, one. Oh my God, nice job. Let me set this up to the side. So guys, we have a minute break. Okay, and then we've got some squat pulls, guys. Squat pulls, kettlebell works great for that. Um, you could use a barbell, um, dumbbells. We're going to use a broomstick, all right? So I'm going to grab this broomstick and I'm going to put a couple gallon jugs through here for Logan. Uh, We got our squat pulls ready. Oh man, look at it goes fast. Yeah. Then we have plank rows, so we're gonna put a gallon jug in the middle, we're gonna pull and pull. And maybe we'll do eight each on those. Okay, we'll do eight plank rows. So 15 squat pulls. The list is up here, guys. Alright, so we've got that ready. Logan, when you're ready, buddy, just watch your chin with that middle jug. Alright. So guys, we're just gonna do a squat and we're just gonna pull up towards the chin. Good. Excellent, Logan. Excellent.
back, so we gotta straighten the legs, straighten the little upper body, the shoulders, trapezius a little bit. Excellent, lover. Let me get this out of the way. So our next one, guys, we're gonna put a gallon jug in the middle, we're gonna do a push-up position, and we're just gonna pull, pull, and pull, and guys, eight, eight, eight each way, okay? So we'll try to get eight with each arm, and I'll set this down here for you. You wanna go this way or that way? That way, sir. yeah. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Whew. All right, guys, so this is a great exercise because you're kind of, kind of holding like an ISO position at the top of a push-up, but you're also getting that pull, so it's kind of a, a push-pull combo here. Excellent job, excellent job. And watch Logan, he's trying not to turn the body too much. He's doing a good job of trying to stay pretty square when he does that row, and that's not easy to do. Good. Great work, Logan, good job. And guys, you can do this on a chair also. Okay, so we'll have a little, it'll be running during this. Nice job, nice job. Okay, so guys, now we have 10 chair or bench dips. So now we're gonna try to hit those triceps, okay, after doing those holes with that plank. So 10, look, look, this is right here. Can you squeeze in right here? Yeah, here? yeah. Man, we're getting close, buddy. Yeah. We're getting close. Great job, buddy. Excellent, man. Excellent. Hey guys, the next one we have we have hammer curls. Okay, so guys, you could use you know dumbbells, um, gallon jugs, or a backpack. All right. Well, what do you think? Gallon jug? Uh, yeah. Push through over. Nice work, nice work. There we go. Great job, man. Okay, guys, so we just went through that circuit one time. So now what we have to do is kind of start back at the top. So we've got we've got this, the, the squat pulls next. It's like, wait a minute. Great job, great job. Nice, so we're not leaning over too far. Good work. Two and a half minutes left of this. Okay. Alright, look, we got it again. 
Good. Just keep your form nice and tight. We're not sagging the lower back. We're not turning. Good job. Good job. Not rotating the upper body as you roll. Good. Awesome job, awesome job. So guys, I know you're getting tired. We're under a minute. We have hammer curls next, okay? Oh, you're doing great, buddy. The clock might be motivating right now. Yeah. You're, you're close, man. Guys, we have 30 seconds. Don't rush them, just get the reps you can. Whatever station you're at, guys, 20 seconds, finish strong here. as many rounds or reps as possible. We had four eight minute rounds. Logan made it look pretty easy. Um, as you can see, man, it, guys, it's so challenging for whatever fitness level you're at. Because, I mean, it, the more fit you are, the more reps or rounds you're gonna get. And, and man, it is, it is, it's a, it's a pretty good workout. So, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, this is Logan and Jim with Elite Fitness, and we're bringing wellness to you.